Greetings from Academia IAPSM eConnect. I am Dr. Tanya Tanu, Senior Resident Shaheed Nirmal Mehtu Medical College and Hospital, Dhanba, Jharkhand, and my co presenter, Dr. Ayushi Dube, First Year Junior Resident from Netaji Shuhash Chandra Bose Medical College and Hospital, Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh. We, the team of the Wellness Wizards, humbly present before you the 23rd capsule of public health update series for the months of November and December 2024. The contents of the video will be dealt with in three parts. The first part will focus on communicable diseases, which includes World AIDS Day 2024, nephithromycin, India's first indigenous macrolide antibiotic, expert MTB RIF, pre-qualified diagnostic test for TB and 100-day campaign under NDEP. The second part will focus on non-communicable diseases that include the topic World Diabetes Day 2024. And last but not the least, the third part will focus on national programs with topics Adoption Awareness Month, measures taken for welfare of ASHA workers and expansion of Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mantri Jan Aroke Yojana. World AIDS Day is celebrated annually on December 1st under the aegis of the World Health Organization. The observance reflects on achievement in prevention and treatment while acknowledging ongoing challenges. It honors the lives lost to AIDS and highlights the importance of universal health coverage and the right to health. The theme for 2024 was Take the Rights Path, My Health, My Right, which emphasizes the importance of healthcare access and the empowerment of individuals in managing their health. By promoting a rights-based approach, the campaign aims to foster inclusivity, reduce stigma, and encourage global cooperation to eradicate AIDS. India's fight against HIV AIDS began in 1985 and has evolved through the National AIDS Control Program, which is now one of the largest HIV control programs globally. The current phase, which is the NACP Phase 5, places renewed focus on ending AIDS by reducing annual new HIV infections and AIDS-related mortalities by 80% by 2025-2026 from the baseline value of 2010. Along with this, it also focuses on attaining dual elimination of vertical transmission and HIV-related stigma and promotes universal access to quality STI and RTI services. Nephithromycin has been developed by the Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council and is in the Phase 3 clinical trial. The broad-spectrum antibiotic will be available under the trade name MCNAF and is designed to treat community-acquired bacterial pneumonia. The significant milestone comes at a time when antimicrobial resistance is a growing global health crisis with few new drugs entering the pipeline. The development of nephithromycin is a testament to India's scientific advancement, offering a much-needed solution to combat multi-drug-resistant pathogens. It has been found to be 10 times more effective and safer than the current options with minimal GI side effects and drug interactions. The launch coincides with World AMR Awareness Week, which was celebrated between 18 to 24th November 2024 with the theme Educate, Advocate, Act Now. It is awaiting final approval from the Central Drug Standard Control Organization. Nephithromycin offers improved patient compliance and is a vital step in combating AMR. The World Health Organization has granted pre-qualification to the molecular diagnostic test for tuberculosis called Expert MTB RIF Ultra. It is the first test for TB diagnosis and antibiotic susceptibility testing that meets WHO's pre-qualification standards. It is a molecular diagnostic test for TB and rifampicin resistance designed for use on the gene expert instrument system. This nucleic acid amplification test detects mycobacterium tuberculosis genetic material in sputum samples. 
This first pre-qualification of a diagnostic test for tuberculosis marks a critical milestone in WHO's efforts to support countries in scaling up and accelerating access to high-quality TB assays that meet both WHO recommendations and its stringent quality, safety and performance standards. The global impact is substantial and offers significant advantage. It improves early diagnosis and treatment, which is essential for better patient outcomes and prevents the spread of TB. It facilitates the scaling up of high quality TB diagnostics worldwide and supports countries in effectively addressing both TB and multi-drug resistant TB. It has higher sensitivity, especially in smear negative TB cases and among HIV infected patients. And it is a simple three step process with minimal hands on time and results in 80 minutes direct from the sample. This technology is, pa is a powerful tool in our global effort to eliminate tuberculosis. India has taken a decisive step towards ending tuberculosis with the launch of the 100-day TB elimination campaign. Launched on December 7, 2024, this initiative covers 347 districts across 33 states and union territories. Over the next 100 days until March 24, 2025, it will focus on three critical goals. This demonstrates India's commitment to a TB-free future. These ambitious goals are as stated. Number one, to increase case detection through intensified IEC campaigns on community awareness and screening and testing of vulnerable populations, including asymptomatic individuals. Number two, to reduce TB deaths by implementing a differentiated TB care approach with nutritional support interventions. And last but not the least, to prevent occurrence of the new TB cases in the community by providing TB preventive treatment to household contacts, PLHIVs and vulnerable pop populations. The campaign activities shall include screening of vulnerable populations, testing through X-ray for all vulnerable populations including asymptomatic individuals, and nucleic acid amplification tests for upfront diagnosis of TB. Prompt treatment initiation with specialized care for high-risk uh, patients, providing Niksha Potion Yojana benefits to all TB patients and nutrition kits for their families via Niksha Mitras, treating eligible high-risk individuals. The Jan Bhagedari for TB Mukt Bharat aims to raise TB awareness, reduce stigma, encourage daily detection, support treatment and nutrition, and promote prevention. 14th November is celebrated annually as World Diabetes Day and provides an opportunity to raise awareness about diabetes as a critical global public health issue and emphasizes the collective and individual actions needed to improve the prevention, diagnosis, and management of the condition. This year's theme, Breaking Barriers, Bridging Gaps, underpins our commitment to reducing the risk of diabetes and ensuring that all people who are diagnosed with diabetes have access to equitable, comprehensive, affordable, and quality treatment and care. Keeping in view the above, some significant steps taken by the government to combat the surge in diabetes cases includes the Fit India Movement, led by the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, financial assistance for purchasing glucometers and diabetes medications provided under the NPNCD Free Drug Service Initiative by the NHM that provides free essential medicines, including insulin, to economically vulnerable groups and the Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Oshadi Pariyojana for affordable quality generic medications, including insulin, to name a few. Greetings. I, Dr. Aishi, shall be continuing with the topic of health program updates. Adoption Awareness Month. Child Adoption Month, a CARA initiative, is celebrated annually in the month of November. 
It is spearheaded by the Central Adoption Resource Authority and supported by various stakeholders to promote understanding of the legal adoption process in India. Organized by the Ministry of Women and Child Development, this initiative emphasizes the significance of legal adoptions nationwide. The Central Adoption Resource Authority, CARA, is a statutory body and oversees ethical and legal adoptions in India, prioritizing the best interest of children. The 2024 theme, Rehabilitation of Older Children to Foster Care and Foster Adoption, focuses on finding homes for children in foster care, especially older children and those with special needs. The Caring's Child Adoption Resource Information and Guidance System is a portal launched in February 2011, serves as a sole platform for adoption. This month serves as a crucial reminder of the importance of adoption in providing loving families for children in need. Now with the next update that is on the ASHA workers. ASHA workers are the backbone of our community health system and their well-being is a priority. The government has recently taken significant steps to support these dedicated individuals. The measures include increased monthly incentives to ASHA workers over and above the incentives provided by the government of India. ASHAs receive a fixed monthly incentive of Rs 2000 per month in the country for their routine and recurring activities. Additionally, they are provided performance-based incentives for a varied set of activities under the national health programs. After the launch of the Ayushman Aroki Mandir, ASHAs are eligible additionally for team-based incentives along with ANMs based on a monitored performance indicator of up to rupees 1000 per month. Health security coverage of rupees 5 lakh under Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mantri Jan Arog Yojana has been extended to all ASHA workers. Also, social security benefits including insurance, disability, coverage and pension. These are provided through Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana and the Pradhan Mantri Shram Yogi Mandan Yojana. The government has also approved a cash award of rupees 20,000 and a citation to ASHAs who leave the program after working as ASHA for minimum of 10 years as acknowledgement of their contribution. Now the next update is on the Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mantri Janarog Yojana. Access to quality health care is a fundamental right and the government is committed to ensuring that it reaches all our citizens. In a significant move, the Union Cabinet approved a major expansion of the Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mantri Janarog Yojana. Under this decision, all senior citizens aged 70 and above will receive health coverage regardless of their income. The key new developments in the program are Eligible senior citizens aged 70 and above will receive a new district card under the ABPMJ scheme. Senior citizens within families already covered by ABPMJ will receive an additional top-up cover of up to Rs 5 lakh per year. This top-up will be for them and they will not have to share it with any other family members under the age of 70. Senior citizens who are not part of an existing ABPMJ family coverage may be provided with a cover of up to Rs 5 lakh per year on a family basis. Senior citizens with other public or private health insurance including the ESIS can choose to switch or continue with ABPMJ. With this, we conclude the updates for the month of November-December 2024. Our team Wellness Wizards comprises of 
डॉक्टर तान्या तनु सीनियर रेसिडेंट एस एन एम एम सी एच धानबाद झारखंड एंड मी डॉक्टर आयुषी दुबे सेकेंड ईयर पी जी रेसिडेंट एन एस सी बी मेडिकल कॉलेज जबलपुर एट दिस पॉइंट वी वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू एक्सटेंड अवर हार्ट फेल ग्रेटिट्यूड टू अवर एडवाइजर्स डॉक्टर आकांक्षा तोमर डॉक्टर अभिषेक कुमार डॉक्टर स्वाति शिखा एंड डॉक्टर दीपांशी सक्सेना for their valuable inputs constant support and motivation special word of thanks to the iapsm e connect team dr wasim ansari dr medha madhur dr archisman mohapatra dr parag chawda and dr malitesh undi for their constant support and guidance we would also like to take this opportunity to extend our sincere gratitude to the senior iapsm office bearers डॉक्टर अन्ना राव कुलकर्णी सर डॉक्टर अशोक भारद्वाज सर डॉक्टर ए एम कादरी सर एंड डॉक्टर पुरुषोत्तम गिरी सर एंड ऑल द गवर्निंग काउंसिल मेंबर्स ऑफ द आई पी एस थैंक यू फॉर योर टाइम एंड होप यू ऑल आर पॉजिटिवली एनलाइटेंड विद दीज अपडेट्स द केडमिया आई ए पी एस एम ई कनेक्ट विल सून कम आउट विद अपडेट्स फॉर द नेक्स्ट मंथ काइंडली सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल अकेडमिया आई ए पी एस एम ई कनेक्ट and click on the bell icon to receive notifications till we meet again stay connected and stay safe